So, let's continue. We're about on day 10. We are going to the weather station at the moment. Our settlement is thriving. I'm doing a lot better than my first playthrough. <laughs> I think in my first playthrough I didn't even bother to build these heaters right until the end. At which point it was kind of too late. Hey, you need another worker. I have another worker for you. You're also missing some workers. You have some children on the ready? I do have some children on the ready. All children must work and not play. Wendy Woods. There can only be one public house in the city. Is that so? I thought I could build multiple of them. Gravely ill and amputees will be given palliative treatment before finding a proper way to take care of them. Those staying in the cows will be given alterations. There are quite a lot of people in here. Yeah, let's turn off the overdrive. Which means it's getting cold, y'all. That should be fine. Nope. I can sign a new law. So, what does this do? The sick recover faster. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Work time. Get back to work. Ah, the hothouse does need an insulation upgrade. Medical post upgrade is also probably a good idea. Steam coal from the coal mining optimization. Wall drill, resource upgrade, heating. Steam hub range upgrade. Okay, we do want this and we should think about building the second coal mine soon. Ah, this needs a steam core. We should think about building the hothouse. This all kind of sucks. Let's place it right. Oh. Oh. I don't like that placement. I also do not like this placement. This will destroy resources.
This would be... Let's place it here. Because food is important. My scouts are still seven hours on the way. Children and workers, please. 2.4 an hour. It's actually quite a lot. How much do you produce? You produce 15 per day. And this is 30, so this one replaces these two. we should increase our coal production. Let's make another one of these thumpers. Can place it right here. Yeah, let's do this. And let's build a road like this. And let's remove the old road. Danger of disease. A heat zone has reached the snow pit. Oh no! How? No, it didn't. It's still very cold up here. it that my core is still full and you require double coal and we're at the weather station there's nobody at the weather station but everything seems to be operational we could try to find out what the scientists from the winter home we're working on explore we found the scientists know to predict that the great cold is going to get much worse What's smart troubling is that the observation ended abruptly months ago. There's also no can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obviously they moved out for good. We found some coal and a steam core. Let's go to the coal mine first. Uh, recent reports from the weather station has got people talking. They're frightened so such a part of the facility has been abandoned. Oh, that was a good idea. Um, let's switch it up. Also, what do you want? Urgent need for treatment. Now, we have more than enough. Also, research. Uh, generator range upgrades, power upgrade, overdrive. More scouts is important. I am flat out of wood, so this won't matter at the moment.
What's my workforce doing? Not good. It's chilly, which is still on the good side of good. Only some factories are cold. So, coal consumption is on an all-time high. And I should probably think about making a new logging station, probably up here. Excuse me? Ah, I have a sneeze stuck up my nose. It's annoying. <laughs> Start working again. Ah, it's thawing up a bit. Means everything is livable or cold. And one person just got gravely sick. <laughs> so, the coal mine is automated, its engine pressure pressurized, the mining has stopped, the snow around is untrodden, and an eerie silence hangs in the air. More coal than we can use. This coal mine was operational until very recently. The machinery isn't running now, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps this mine simply extracted its quota or filled in a loading bay. We could retrieve plenty of raw materials if we took the materials apart. So we could either make an outpost or we could just tear it all up and drag it all home. That's a good question. That's 800 coal per day. Yes, that's good. Let's go to winter home. Hunter's gear up to 20, which is okay. Factory resources. It's all about the resources. I need more steel. And I need more wood. So let's make another sawmill. Right here. How much does this cost? 30. So I'm gonna upgrade it. Erase the efficiency. Coal mining optimization. Resource depot optimization. I have five engineers who are not doing anything. Sir, so a group of amputees are here, want to help you in the cookouts. We don't want to sit on our asses all day.
Eh, yeah, sorry, I don't have any protests. Protesis is for you. Still work. Well, you guys are important. You should be running top notch all the time. So, speed two. One day ends, it's time off. Let's adapt some more. Hmm, organic virtue. Corpses can be used as a uh, hopeful for slightly discontent will rise slightly. Let's sign the emergency sif. People are still complaining about bad health care. Ah, the public house is just a flat out global upgrade. It's nice. So, coal consumption is great. I should, however, add another resource depot for coal. I am, however, somewhere out of food. Four engineers. Here we are, we climbed up the edge of the city, we stood there speechless, staring at the scene of devastation. It's the city of the dead. Most of the buildings are destroyed and the generator has exploded. Ooh, we found some steam cores. The streets of the ruined city are littered with the scores of dead bodies. The city chronicle describes the shortage of food and citizens increasing despair, the following squabbles, riots and descents into anarchy. Fights for dwindling resources and the eventual starvation, the last entry. God forgive us, we are eating our dead, there is no hope. Urgh. We are on our own. So, there goes all hope. They're all dead! How will we will survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. There is no hope for us here in this frozen desert. Desert? Desert. People start to gather as the news of the fate of Winterholm spreads throughout the city. 
Some of them want to drop everything and flee to London. Panic is starting to set in. I must give them purpose. So last time I went with faith and spiritual strength, which was interesting. However, this time I'm thinking about order and discipline. So let's go with this. Neighborhood watch. We need to mobilize and stand together to help the people in need and protect them from troublemakers. Watchtowers increase the hope of people living nearby. You have to build two watchtowers. Order! I'm out of wood. Also, last time I got lynched by my own people, which was kind of fun actually, but... Oh. Also, you need a new job. Go to the Freshwater Springs, please. The unconvinced want to leave. Sir, there are unconvinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of people are still so scared that they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. Calm down, calm down. The Londoners. So, we have to get this number to zero. And currently it's rising. Also, I probably shouldn't wait too much waiting to build these. Here's a good place for one. Let's get rid of you. Research steam is done. Stuco Fumper will increase my coal production by a good amount. Steam steel storm wheel, maybe. Food and shelter. Exploration, more scouts, faster scouts, more scouts. Also, are you not bringing any food anymore? Why are we running so low on food? We're getting in 60 food and we're doubling it to make 120. Yeah, I need more food. Several pools are kept from freezing by hot springs on the ground. Patches of hardy lynching cling to the bare rock. Generated, degenerated with life. <laughs> Near the freshwater springs, some refugees from winter home. They are sorry sight, but they seem to be clear, completely removed by the fate of the city. I could escort them. Yeah, let's escort them back. We should also go back because we have some resources some whoa we have a lot of resources on us which we should bring back End of shift. Go rest all time. 
Also, resources. Steam Steelworks. Bam. Bam. Upgrades. Built it on the medical post. But first order, we need another watchtower. You are there. Let's get rid of you. And I'm out of resources, so I can't build anything at the moment. And another watchtower in here. People join the Londoners. More scouts is more better. Uh, how much is for the 25? Let's make another one. And we're gonna plunk it. Right here. We're out of wood. So, how much for the steam sawmill? Get going. <laughs> Hello, Smuxer. Didn't see you there. Timely intervention! Sir so charge clapped the generator and slipped and fell. Oh no! <laughs> but it was frankly caught by a neighborhood watch member who was on patrol nearby. He was then escorted the child to his mother and gave them both a good talking to. It could have ended with a broken glass of worse if we weren't for our watchman. I'm glad it all ended well. <laughs> I still have to, to train myself to watch Twitch chats sometimes because I'm always getting so indulged in these games that I just don't read chat. <laughs> but hello Smuxer, how are you doing? Is everything great? Nope, a new law. 
Let's give them some more purpose by force. Guard stations or morning gathering. Ah, this sounds fun. New law. A new law has passed. Uh oh. What day ends? It's time off. Where can I do these morning gatherings? Or are they? Maybe they are always held. Yeah, I also uh, well, I'm a bit sore from yesterday's exercise. I actually got sick of it. <laughs> I couldn't go to work today, but I'm still feeling a little bit weaving yet. So people are still hungry. Let's feed them. And wait, wait. Ah, okay. Yeah, let's go back to soup. Where's my soup kitchen? Also, you guys need to be stocked with a higher priority. Where is he? I need new workers. Especially children. Ah, good to know that modern gardens are automatic. So, my last game I had steel issues, this time I'm having wood issues. Interesting. Oh yeah, I promised them to build a. I have built the medical post. I just need to add a doctor to it. <laughs> so temperature will be falling again tomorrow. I think I'm doing fine. I actually could place. Hello. One of these heaters. Now, are you already using the correct range? It seems so. Because I do not want to heat the pit of dead bodies over there. I think this is fine. And you came back. Perfect. Now, go fetch these Americans, will ya? And I have a new workforce, and I can also make another hothouse. Let's make two. That should solve all our food issues. So each of them will be making 90 per day, which will translate into uh, 180. F Wait, what? Each makes 30, 30, 60, 90. Double it by the cookhouse to 180, and I still have not enough food. <laughs> ah. So, children and workers. Workers. Also, fill this up, fill this up, fill this up. Oh, people are, are actually starving. Oops. My bad. <laughs> Well, let's go into overdrive. That looks fine. Okay. 